down in three. I guess isn't bad in doubles. I just feel cheated. Anyways, lots and lots of swords begins on Pokemon Stadium too. That's a very attractive doubles match if I had to say so. Lucina, Prom, Snake's all right. But there are those grenades that we were so worried about. Putting off one of these 1v1s. I think Lucina's pretty good against Prom, so Mr. Ryan is probably gonna try and focus on sort of cornering Matty G. I feel like it's going to behoove Blue Team to just have Lucina stock tank and just check ledges. Very similar to what we saw Mr. E doing in the uh, previous set on stream. Yeah. Like, he wasn't super active. He was just doing great keep away. Right. And, like, Snake's going to want to do that, too, but Snake is also the type of zoning character that's not afraid to get in the tussle. For sure. There's going to be all a lot his, of percentage. Now. All of his close-up moves still very fantastic. There you see the down air out of shield, of course. The one thing I think is very interesting is a lot of these characters just do not care about Snake and his grenades. I see Matty G just sort of work around him. He'll leave him alone and like sort of force him to do one. It's definitely a popular thing we've seen with like Billy Gears and Smash 4 doubles. Instead of like respecting that sort of conservative play, they'll just leave him alone and sort of bring the fight to Mr. Lioness instead. Yeah, it's sort of the mindset that like this, this player and their style with this character is more akin to a stage hazard. Yes. They don't want to fight the stage hazard. Talking about the light assist trophy. Then you got the focus, focus stage hazard. He's the combo cannon. Yeah. Dude, and see, that, <laughs> just the patience from Maddie G. He did not care about any of those explosives. And he made it back to the stage just fine. All right, what do you got? Up until not going to kill me. That was so smart from Blade. The back air to sort of force the air dodge and turn the seat around super smart. Yeah, okay. people sleep on how like useful of an ability that is for utilizing Turn the aerials down, for yeah. repositioning. Like aerial microspacing is a gift that not a lot of characters share. Right. Probably right. seen what just happened to be some of them. Right, back to the 1v1 looking like it's working for yellow team. Alright, but Manny G, sadly not as good as we've seen off stage. He sort of like went for one hit and then had to recover just because Crom is so volatile. Oh wow, Matty G not sneaking in with that back here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, is that smash attack? Yo, right is just swinging, man. Sometimes it, it works, though. Yep. Matty finding a very creative way back to the stage because you know he can't just go for the up B, not against Lucina. He's looking for the counter. Oh wow, up B out of shield for Matty, not gonna connect. Was that late hit of up tilt? Yeah. Man, Lucina really is something. All right, looking really good for Blue Team now. What the heck? All right, back out of shield. Let's see if they can take the stock of Pelka. Yes. Lucina off stage. Wade trying to get the stock off Mr. Ryan Ness. No such luck. Oh, yellow team can control the stage right now. Nice handoff from Mr. Ryan Ness there with the punish. I feel like on multiple occasions we've seen Ryaness placing himself wherever there's uh, projectiles and snakes. I feel like he just needs to be a little bit more aware of the situation. 79% Manny G is really the one to watch out for here. It disconnects. Nope. 79% on Belka though, just from the combos from Yellow Team. They're gonna look for some big hits on him or just a nice combo. Man, Belka just off in his own world but sneaks in that up till exactly when he needed to. Instead of better myself. Yo, speaking of projectile awareness, I feel like Yellow Team is placing themselves way into the line of fire for no particularly good reason. Yeah. Like, Lucina is very capable of just holding back and letting you approach on her. Right. She can zone out well. Oh my god, Wade going for it all. What do we got here? Oh my god. What an animal! <laughs> all right, well. Definitely did not expect that. Thank you, Helper, once again, on the ones and twos, doing the replay, just to rub it in a little bit. The grab release into the rocket launcher. He took them both out. He did. He, did, yeah. he wanted it done. No, he said, I don't want any Lucinas on my stage, regardless of affiliation. <laughs> Helka out here with the Swords Must Die campaign. <laughs> He's got my vote. But this leads us into a very interesting dynamic for this match. For sure. Like. Late in Matty G were the favorites to win here. What happened? That entire game one advantage was being traded very evenly. There's this percentage soaring on, across all characters. Right. I feel like 
Lady Maddie G need to take advantage of what their characters are capable of and force the approach. Because they can counter the approach very well. Like, there's a lot that they have to worry about with Snake's projectiles. They have to worry about, like, what the opposing machine is going to be able to do to break through their defenses. But Town and City, I feel, may give them the space they need to sort of break this apart. Because for what it's worth, a lot more space that Snake is forced to cover, meaning there's going to be a bit more safer routes for them to control the stage. Also, honestly, I feel like they were sort of forcing the issue to Pelka, giving him the space, and then force, not forcing him, but giving him that option to sort of play conservatively with the projectile, and they were using that opportunity to just put the pressure on Mr. Ryan Pence. So if there's more space, Pelka seems to want to go for this strategy. They can keep working on a TV one that they like so much. So I think that's very important. You see a lot of grenades, but only one of them sneaking through that grab army. They punish, no stock yet. Elka also incidentally takes about 80% as well. Oh, wow, two hits. Maddie going for it all. Platform coming in hot to save him. Oh, nice. Like, is taking all of this self damage. I'm sitting here, and I'm just marveling at the fact that he's using these explosions to, like, end out the mispositioning he gets from a lot of his combos or to curb some of the uh, the end lag that Snake has. Right. And it's just impressive, man. It really is. It's so great to watch him work. Well, Yellow Team right now is not giving him much of an opportunity to do so. Already 55 of these combos and counting. Maddie G is so good at the follow-ups. He's, like, he's such a good support player. I've said that for years. Down tilt, what do we got? Oh, wow. That's that attack out of nowhere. But great punish for Maddie G. Did not expect for that to be a trade. So. Sure, they'll take it. Got to air dodge. Is he going to make it back? He does, surprisingly. Blade. Also some good support on his end, making sure Manny has a comfortable route back to the stage. One thing I want to highlight real quick about how well Yellow Team has been covering this map, look at how they move as a team. They've been doing a really good job of making sure they're not too far from each other, and they sort of collapse in on blue team. You'll see one of them take the high road, one of them take the low road, and they're never at a position where they're ready to actually start swinging. Like, it just goes to show like, how aware they have to be of the entire picture, instead of just focusing out these 1v1s. That, they're playing well, mind you, but I feel like their big picture scope is just really well and under control. Oh no, Mr. Ryan, that's... That was, oh no, that was the, the orb of confusion. The hypno smash, if you will. AG, we're looking at ourselves going right to a game for a Yes, we are, hey man. Oh my god. Oh, in spectacular fashion, the signature. Maddie G and Lade combos. Always fun to watch. Oh, what the hell? Where What's is it going? What is that hit? Alright, we gotta calm down a little bit, but still uh Where are you going? Yeah, Alright, right, gotta make it back. Mr. Ryan is on the hunt, though he knows if there is going to be any sort of way he gets this game <laughs> it's with something like that. For a moment, I didn't think he was going to get punished. I, know, I, was, right? I was like really worried. I was like, you're really going to let him do it to him? <laughs> Just like, get the clip. I'll get the set. <laughs> All right. Well, a big change of pace. I don't know if it was only the stage, but that definitely seemed to help. I want to see a small stage. Okay. Yeah, Give if, me if FD. If you're Pelka, Mr. Ryan S, I can see why. Because I feel like there was so much room for Maddie and Lee to breathe, yeah. and they controlled it so well right. that Pelka and Rhinus cannot let that happen again. No. And I do, I really do feel like the stage had a very big impact on that. I think you're right. It ended up having a pretty huge impact. That extra space meant all the difference, and I think they really just put the pressure on Mr. Rhinus and those 2v1s like I thought they would. All right, we are going into it. Any change of pace in terms of character? Also, Mr. Ryan S. Tag, love it. One QQQ, AA. Yeah, I saw him mash at the very beginning, and I was like, mouth agape. I was like, hello? <laughs> Is he uttering an incantation for good luck? Yeah, I was going to say he's going to summon something. <laughs> I'm afraid. All right, we're thinking. There it was, Manny G. The holdout. Going into it. All right, so PS2 is the set. Oh, uh, sorry, yes. Or they're just feeling so confident after game two that they do not care. You see, I I like the stage pick. Yep. It, it's, it's sort of a packed situation, but I like the stage pick because I feel like Sword and Snake covers it well. Yes. However, they're fighting Sword. Right. Fighting a lot of Sword. 
And I feel in particular that Krom and Lucina are going to have an easier job just executing their game plan than Lucina and Snake. Like, Helka's going to have to put in mad work if they want to see any type of a reversal, especially with Ryanus losing uh, first stock in the match. Good offstage play by kool -Aid getting that stock. I think it's going to be really important. Now Blue Cooper has to force the issue, but they just might. Oh my god, Maddie G! With the crazy forward, you're going to take the second stock from Mr. Ryanus, already on his last. Well, Pelka crazy. hasn't even clocked into over 100 percentage on his first stock. Exactly. And Mr. Ryanus just got hit under stadium by Whoa. an unfortunate. Oh, Unfortunate for him, at least, that forward air. Not what he needed. All right, Manny G keeping Felka in the air. Prom up air is really good for exactly that, so. Right. Felka splitting off the Lummy. Let's know he's asked to help Ryan that's a little bit, though. Oh, wow, huge spot dodge for Felka. Blue team with control now, but that was so smart for Manny G. So all these players are playing it out really smart. Yeah. But I feel like just the pressure's on Ryan is so hard because of how well Yellow Team opened by just focusing him so heavily. Uh, Matty G, the mate, back barely. Spending a whole lot of quality time at the ledge. Taking that stock. Regrab. Oh, the footstool! That's Matty rude. G, no! The quick share stock for Instant. the two. Oh my god. He went down there with purpose, too. He did not mess around. He was like, check out these boots. Right, right. Plus one movement. Get him out of here. Oh, no. Like All right. The reason number 578 that I hate Lucina. Yeah. Shield breaker one shirt forward enough for that snake standing grab <laughs> wins. Yep. I love it, man. I'm going to be tight for Palka. <laughs> Ugh. Yellow team firmly in the driver's seat right now. Blue team on their back. But on their back foot. Still looking pretty comfortable. Mr. Ryan S going down for the count. He's Felka so to... deep in the hole for oh. this match. It's, it's unfortunate because they started very strong right. and Yellow Team adapted beautifully, but coming into this, they were laser focused. What? <laughs> I'm mad that that works. Yeah. It almost looked like Shieldbreaker had armor too because the grenade just like bounced off. Or... Sadly, Tokus at a percent where pretty much like forward kill would kill. Wrong, yeah. The profit. That's gonna be it. Maddie G and Cooley moving on to winner semi, so we're gonna be seeing more of them. They had to work a little bit harder than projected for that one, but all in all, very fun set to watch. For Good sure, on yeah. Lady and Maddie G. They're going to be moving on to fight off against the Buzz uh, and, the Buzz and Mr. Yeah. E. So that's gonna be a very fun one to watch. Unfortunately.